grab your tranquilizer darts, and cardboard packaging material, because we're talking Metal Gear Solid. Otacon. Snake, you now have in your inventory the new stealth camo prototype. Use it to remain undetected by enemies. Okay, so we all know that sometimes Hideo Kojima can get a little carried away with his choice of gameplay options. So obviously, his vision of stealth camouflage is clearly the makings of science fiction. Or is it? There are many different forms of camouflage that are used throughout the Metal Gear Solid series. The most common form of camouflage worn by both Big Boss and Solid Snake, the two protagonists you play as throughout the series, are the many different versions of the sneaking suit. This sneaking suit, created from optical fibers, would cling tightly to the wearer's body and help increase strength and resilience. This suit would also act as extra armor and extra muscle to aid with solo Black Ops missions. Upon further advancement, Huey Emmerich began working on a prototype for completely stealth camouflage. In the 1980s during and after the Peace Walker incident, Big Boss was able to test and use the prototype of the newly developed stealth camo created by notes left behind by the newly exiled Huey Emmerich. This camo would make the wearer almost completely invisible by bending light around the wearer. However, because this camo was powered by a non-rechargeable battery, the suit's camo function could only be used in short burst. Due to the functionality limitations on the stealth suit, a new form of camouflage would be developed called the chameleon suit. This suit was capable of changing colors to duplicate the environment around the wearer in order to blend in with any environment. It would not be until the late 90s and early 2000s that Huey's son, Hal Emmerich, also known as Otocon, would fully develop multiple stealth camouflages that would have the ability to recharge and be used much more effectively. Solid Snake, the son of Big Boss, did not particularly care for the stealth camo technology because it would only cloak you from vision, but thermal imaging would still be able to see the wearer. By 2014, most militaries throughout the world would be using a version of Metal Gear, known as Geckos. These would take the place of many of the military's tanks. These unmanned AI machines would see everything in thermal, and therefore render the stealth camo useless. Enter Octocamo, the newest prototype by DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, and adapted by Hal Emmerich, would be the newest form of sneaking suit with much more functionality. This octocamo suit would have all of the qualities of the standard sneaking suit, augmenting the wearer's strength and resilience, but also this suit could scan any surface it was touching and project the image and texture of the touch surface to the front of the suit, rendering the wearer invisible. This octocamo also is layered in thermal technology that would duplicate the surrounding temperature so that the wearer would not show up on any thermal scans as well, making this camo the camo of choice for Solid Snake in his later years. Okay, so the camouflage used in the Metal Gear series is much different than the camouflage used in real life. Or is it? The idea of stealth technology has always been in our imaginations. Spy cameras. Cloaking devices and even Harry Potter's Cloak of Invisibility all stem from this idea of seeing without being seen. 
But just how close to reality could these ideas be? Well, the fact is, this type of technology may already exist. Hyperstealth Biotechnology Corp. is the company that has supplied many of the world's military uniforms in the last decade. They have developed over 5 million uniforms that have been issued in different regions in the world. In 2010, Guy Kramer, the president and CEO of Hyperstealth, announced Smart Camo. He demonstrated this new prototype at the International Camouflage Symposium in 2010. His presentation consisted of cloth that he put over his arm, and he could change the color from the color of the desert to the color of the woodlands and everything in between. It would be the first time anyone had a working version of adaptive camouflage. Since that demonstration, Guy Kramer has been asked by the U.S. military not to release any more information to the public on the smart camo due to security concerns. Not only do we know that smart camo does exist in some capacity, but later that year, Guy Kramer again announced an even more ambitious adaptive camouflage called Quantum Stealth. This new technology is able to bend light around an object and project the environment that is behind the object to be in front of the object. This technology does not require cameras, batteries, lights, or mirrors. In fact, it's the exact same technology that is described in the Octocamo in the Metal Gear series. The pictures that you're seeing now are from Hyperstealth Biotechnology's website, and these images are mock-ups of the Quantum Stealth technology. These are not images of the actual product because they cannot show any working prototypes due to security reasons. However, on their website they state, Quantum Stealth is a material that renders the target completely invisible by bending light waves around the target. The material removes not only your visual, infrared, and thermal signatures, but also the target shadow. Two separate command groups within the U.S. military and two separate Canadian military groups, as well as the Federal Emergency Response Team, have seen the actual material so they could verify it's not just manipulating video or photo results. These groups now know that it works and it does so without cameras, batteries, lights, or mirrors. It is lightweight and quite inexpensive. Both the U.S. and Canadian military have confirmed that this also works against military IR scopes and thermal optics. For reasons of security, I can't discuss details about how it accomplishes the bending of light, but I can explain how it might be used. The website goes on to explain many different scenarios as to how this technology can be deployed and the benefits that it provides. But that's not all. In 2012, a video was released on TV in another country and quickly found its way to the internet. Take a look at this clip and see what you think. This video has been criticized many times, and some people think that it was just edited footage. Others think that the soldier is simply wearing a desert camo uniform, and others believe that this is the first glimpse of what stealth technology could look like. Even if this one video is not showing a working stealth prototype, there are many other videos out there that show that not only are these types of things possible, but they are already being developed. And it's just a matter of time before you can finally hide your video game system from your pesky little brother or sister. So maybe Kojima isn't as far out in left field as we once thought. Head on. Soon I'll come around. Okay, then again, maybe he is. So if the technology is this close... What's next? Could the military really be working on its very own super soldier? And just how close are we to making our very own Metal Gear? These are just a few of the things that I would like to look at in future videos regarding the Metal Gear Solid series. So what do you guys think? Has the future slowly reared its head? Are we finally getting one step closer to the Jetsons? Leave your comments below. 
Also, I know that every video you watch nowadays says click the like and subscribe button, but believe it or not, that's the best way to let us know that you appreciate what we're making on this channel and you would like for it to continue. So once again, thank you all for watching and remember to stay awesome.